Hello guys, welcome back to a new lesson. So recently I got the opportunity to go see Foles live. It was absolutely amazing. I love Foles so much and I love Jack Bev and the drummer so much. I even did my university transcription project on him. So since I'm in that Foles mood, I thought I'd do a little lesson on one of the songs from them. So today we're looking at Two Trees. They didn't play this live, but this is one of my favorite songs of theirs. I love the drums in this record because it's just constantly driving the tune. And while it sounds really difficult, it's actually not too hard. So let's get into the lesson, shall we? So this drum groove is just 16th notes the whole time and for the whole song all you're going to be doing is playing two bars and for the whole song we're doing the A bar three times and then we're doing the B bar once so that becomes four bars of music and that's basically looped for the whole song. It's the same pattern and structure in the chorus as well, the only difference is the orchestration but I'll get into that in a second. So as you heard from the intro it's quite a busy part. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the A bar first and we're going to break it down in half by doing the first two beats and then the second two beats. So firstly, let's focus on the first two beats of bar A. So what I'll do for you is just play those first two beats very slowly. If you want the sheet music to follow along, there'll be a download in the link below. So there's nothing crazy going on there. You just gotta watch out for the ghost notes and the accents. And I'll just speed it up for you just now. And moving on to the second two beats of bar A, we've got a bit of interesting stuff going on in the hi-hat. So just like the first half, you want to make sure you've got those dynamics in the snare drum and make sure you're taking it slow and you're getting those 16th notes consistent. So let's put those two parts together and we've got our bar A. So in the song, we play this three times round and then we play the bar B, which I'll talk about just now. So bar B for the first two beats is the exact same and then the second two beats we've got that open hi-hat thing going on there. So I won't bother playing the first two beats because it's the exact same as bar A, but I'll just focus on the last two beats. And then put that together with the first half of the groove and you've got your second bar. Here. So let's hear both bars being played. I'm just going to go bar A, bar B, bar A, bar B. In the actual song it goes A three times and then B, but just to keep things quick and flowing, I'm just going to do it A, B, A, B, A, B. So that's the main groove of the song, you just do it A three times and then B once. And you do that for the entire song. The only thing that changes during the song is when you go to the chorus and all you do is you change that right hand from the hi-hat to the ride cymbal. It's that simple. And instead of that open hi-hat on bar B, you just do a little crash on the ride. So I'll let you hear how that sounds in the chorus. So that is the entire song. You want to aim for about 120 BPM because that's around where the track is. I would recommend taking it slowly and getting those dynamics on the snare drum first before you start to speed it up and make sure you're consistent with those subdivisions. Once you are comfortable though, speed it up and then get it to tempo and you can play the entire song and you're, you know, that's it. It's, it's really that simple. If you've got anything else you want me to teach song-wise, just let me know and I'll do my best to cover it. 
I hope you have fun learning that song and until next time, take care. See you later.